was a lot of uh, people coming and going from CTV, from all the stations. And this is one of our editors named Simon, one of our best right here. This is Simon DeLauro. Hello. How are you doing? Now, Simon has actually so. decided that he is going to leave us. No longer going to be in this industry. Well, in the industry, but not in news. Why? Conventional television, especially news, isn't what it used to be, you know, 20, 30, 40 years ago. People don't get their news sitting down at dinner hour like they used to. Who's to say that I would have a job in 5, 10, 20 years? And I think the reality is a lot of us don't know where it's going. Uh, we like to watch stuff online. People love watching their stories online, and I don't know who's going to make them. What are you going to be doing there? I'll be working for a digital marketing company doing video production predominantly for them. E-commerce is the future, and news, much like, you know, retail, is it has to adapt to that. More than ever, we, you know, when I was in BCIT, it told us learn different crafts. Know a bunch of them. We know that more than ever now. Editing, shooting, writing, storytelling. Yeah. Just what shape, we don't know. <laughs> Tell them not to make an impact. Yeah, let's, let's watch let's, the photon torpedoes. CTV's uh, doing extremely well. Our morning show is number one in Vancouver in October and September of this year. Uh, last spring, we had uh, some of the best ratings we've seen. Digital is a growth area for us, but the challenge around digital is actually making it into a business. We employ over 100 different journalists here at CTV, uh, editors, photographers, uh, reporters, anchors, uh, uh, news managers, and uh, out of that group, um, there's not an awful lot of them that would make a paycheck based on what our digital business is. People have been predicting the death of conventional broadcast mediums uh, as long as I can remember. When I was a BCIT student, one of the seminars at a BC uh, Association of Broadcasters conference was the death of radio, which was uh, back in about 1995, apparently imminent. Uh, and radio has never been stronger. We were uh, reporting on a study just out last week saying that adults are watching and forgive me if I'm wrong, but I think it was about eight or nine hours a day of phone screen time. Well, that's an incredible amount of viewership if you think about it. But they're still watching conventional television uh, when they get home and they're still sitting down on their couch. So rather than online and phones stealing audiences away, I think it just has resulted in people spending even more time in front of even more screens than ever before. The state of the industry, I would say, in one word, is uncertain. Um, working as a reporter, I'm never sure what my job's going to entail next year or the year after or the year after. There's a lot more social media uh, in my job now. I'm expected to tweet videos and pictures. That's often how information is first broadcast from the field now. We don't hold stories for six anymore. It doesn't work. If we're live somewhere, if we're out in the field and we see something, we pick up our phone, we tweet it, and we get it on our website instantly. Millions of page views each month. It's going to be really cold overnight, so I wanted to push out our latest weather video on TweetDeck and then also sharing it on our Facebook page. There's great opportunity. I don't think it has to come at the detriment of TV news because people are going online now. They're just consuming the product a little bit differently. Uh, they want the 6 p.m. news stories even if they're not gonna tune in right at 6 p.m. to watch them. It's completely going to change going to change with virtual reality when you can be at the place this is, you know 10 year whatever it is in the future you'll be at the fire it's, it'll grow it'll change it'll evolve the same thing happened probably when Gutenberg made uh, his, his press you know newspapers became everything for two or three hundred years newspapers are no longer everything uh, then radio became everything then television became everything it's good that's going to end and change be creative in your dissemination of information. Information doesn't always have to be packaged the same way. Um, produce your story, produce your career, um, produce your interest, and at the very least, if you can't start a conversation with your journalism, at the very least, join a conversation. Be relevant. Will there still be reporting and editing 
and news and people asking stuff? Yeah. Yes, there will be. I don't know how it's going to come out, but it's going to come out. It'll, it'll, be, it'll be different. It'll be wonderful. It'll be exciting.